uh, bizarre studio needs. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> My name is Brittany Nelson. We are at Fulton Hill Studios in Richmond, Virginia right now. Yeah, we call business in the front, party in the back. So everything that plugs in essentially, all the digital equipment is up here and then we can seal off this back room and the chem lab is back there. The project is called Alternative Process. It's sort of a joke, um, like a material study that's a critique on photographic material studies, essentially. So I'm taking these processes and I've removed them from representational imagery to see if they have any integrity on their own as a surface. I call it analog Photoshop filters when it's placed over the top of representation. So part of the project is continuing the body of work with the Mordensage chemical process. And then the, the major part of the Creative Capital project I've been working full time on is adding tintype and misusing it in kind of the same way that sort of implodes the, on the tradition of photography. So 1850s and 1860s, it was the foremost technological advancement in photography. So it made photography a lot more portable and much quicker. And so this is where you see the first sort of pop-up photo studios happen at carnivals and things like that, where you could have portraits done. So tintype is where um, I'm exploring, can you make it relevant right now? And what would that context be? I've been working on a system of making digital negatives. I've been using the 3D tool in Photoshop, kind of, not kind of, very sarcastically, and then transfer them into a 19th century process. Being an abstract artist and being working in abstraction in photography, I say abstraction is the easiest thing and the hardest thing. It's really easy to create abstractions. It's very hard to create uh, effective or relevant ones. I'm from Montana uh, and it's so isolated and I've spent most of my life being really isolated. So creative capital and especially the artist retreat and all the things that they offer is really mind-blowing. I think especially for me being stuck in the middle of nowhere with a bunch of bears, you know? <laughs> I, guess, I feel like I just escaped from the woods and, I, and what they gave me was like a platform to be connected. To.